Welcome to Lucid Mind Chemistry channel. In this video, I have compiled questions related to interpretation of chiral carbon in different compounds and structures such as citric acid, ketones, nitriles, skeletal ring structures, etc. For similar topics and question timestamps, read video description. Question 20. The structures of citric acid and isocitric acid are shown. This is citric acid and this is isocitric acid. How many chiral centers does each acid possess? Now chiral carbon is that carbon which is connected to four different elements or groups. Let's draw the structure of citric acid openly. We have first carbon having two hydrogens. Then we have carboxylic acid functional group. On second carbon, we have OH and carboxylic acid functional group. OH on one side, carboxylic acid on the other. On third carbon, we have two hydrogen and carboxylic acid functional group. With this carbon, we can see two similar atoms are present, so therefore this is not chiral. With this carbon, double bond is present, so this is not chiral. None of the carbonyl carbon is chiral. On this carbon, we can see we have OH functional group, carboxylic acid functional group, but this group and this one is similar, so therefore this carbon is also not chiral. Similarly, this carbon is not chiral. So therefore, there are zero chiral centers in citric acid. Now let's draw isocitric acid. For first carbon, we have two hydrogens. Then carboxylic acid functional group. On second carbon, we have one hydrogen and one carboxylic acid functional group. On third carbon, we have hydrogen, OH, and carboxylic acid functional group. Now, first carbon is having similar atoms, so therefore this is not chiral. None of the carbonyl carbon is chiral. On this carbon, we can see we have hydrogen, carboxylic acid functional group. This group and this group are different, so therefore this carbon is chiral. Now with the last carbon we can see we have one hydrogen, one OH, one carboxylic acid group and this is the fourth group that is attached as all four are different so therefore this carbon is also chiral. So we have two chiral centers in isocitric acid. Answer is therefore D. Question 28. The structure of compound Q is shown. This is compound Q. How many chiral centers are present in the molecule of Q? So for chiral carbon, we know that the carbon that is bonded with four different groups. Let's find out the chiral centers. For carbon atoms, you must know that for carbon atom to be chiral, there must be no hydrogen atom with carbon or just one hydrogen atom should be present and there should be no double bond with that carbon. If a carbon justifies these three points then it could be chiral. Now let's find out Starting from this carbon, we have two hydrogen atoms, so this is not chiral. This carbon atom has two hydrogen atoms, so it is not chiral. This one has two hydrogen atoms, so it is not chiral. This one has no hydrogen atom, but it has two methyl groups attached, so it is also not chiral. Similarly, this has three hydrogen atoms, this has three hydrogen atoms, this one has two hydrogen atoms. Now this carbon is bonded to no hydrogen atom and there are four different groups attached. One is this one, 
one is this one one is methyl group and one is this whole compound so this carbon is chiral this one is not this one has just one hydrogen atom and there are other three different groups so this is also chiral this one is not chiral because it has two hydrogen not chiral because it has two hydrogen atoms this could be chiral it has got one hydrogen atom and one two three different groups attached so this is also chiral this carbon atom is attached to one hydrogen atom and one, two, three different groups. So this is also chiral. Similarly, this carbon atom is attached to one hydrogen atom and three other groups. So it is also chiral. This carbon atom has two hydrogen atoms. So it is not chiral. This carbon has one hydrogen atom and three different groups. So it is also chiral. This carbon also has one hydrogen atom and three different groups, so it is also chiral. This carbon has got double bond, so it is not chiral. This one has two hydrogen atoms. This one has double bond. This one has two hydrogen atoms. This one has three hydrogen atoms. This one has three hydrogen atoms. And this one got two methyl groups attached. So they are the same groups. So this is also not chiral. So we can find out that one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7. So we have 7 chiral centers present in the molecule of Q. So the answer is 7. Compound X has the structure shown. Which type of carbonyl group is present and how many chiral centers are there in one molecule of X? As this is the carbonyl group, and on both sides of carbon, we can see that two different groups are attached. One is alkyl group and one is this group. So therefore it is ketone. So it could be either C or D. Now let's find the chiral centers. For chiral centers, we must have carbon that is attached to four different groups directly. So starting from this ring, we can see this carbon is making double bond. So it is not chiral. This one is also not chiral. This carbon has two hydrogen atoms, so it is not chiral. This has two hydrogen atoms, not chiral. This one has two hydrogen atoms, not chiral. This carbon has three different groups and one hydrogen atom, so therefore this carbon is chiral. So we have one chiral center. This carbon has double bond with oxygen, so it is not chiral. This carbon has three hydrogen atoms, so it is also not chiral. So there is only one chiral center present. So the answer should be D. Fructose is a sugar with more than one chiral center. The fructose molecule is shown with X, Y and Z indicating three carbon atoms. This is X, this is Y and this is Z. Which carbon atoms are chiral centers? Now we know that that carbon is chiral which is attached to four different elements or groups. Directly. First is X. We can see we have H, O, H, this whole group and this group that is below. So this one is chiral. So X is chiral. Then we have Y. Again, we can see we have OH group, H group, this whole group attached and this group as all four are different. So Y is also chiral. For Z, we can see that two similar atoms are present with carbon. So therefore Z is not chiral. As only X and Y show chiral. So therefore answer is B. Thanks for watching. If this was useful, please do like subscribe and share.